Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 1st, 2019. Hey guys, I apologize yesterday. There was no morning report. Um, I had an internet outage and sometime during the night it was finally restored and I can put together a video today. So thank you for everyone who uh, for being patient. I apologize. It was completely out of my control. Nothing that... Um, nothing I could have done about it and um, what a frustrating thing for traders to have to go through when that when we don't have internet so let's take a look at what happened yesterday and let's take a look at the overall market and see what we can see here in these charts first off we can see the diamonds still still struggling in here struggling in this downtrend but the good news is is we are holding a price support level in this chart so we're building this little price wedge in here and honestly uh, you know you've heard me talk about this for a while that possibility that we were slipping into consolidation and I think that certainly has played out to be true that we have slipped into a consolidating range between here and here in the Dow and this morning we can thank our friends down under uh, for the possibility of some more inspiration to the upside uh, cutting their interest rates substantially to just 75 basis points that provided a little inspiration overnight for um, Asian markets to rally and we're getting a little bit of a lift out of that this morning possibly seeing a little bit of follow through here this morning now let's keep in mind that before we can really get too excited about this we need to break through some resistance levels in this chart and let's think about the things that we have ahead first we have earnings that are going to um, begin in a couple of weeks we have um, China negotiations that are going to begin within a couple of weeks we have um, all of that um, uncertainty and the chaos that literal chaos that's going on in Washington DC we have the issues that are still cropping up with Brexit we have negotiations with Hong Kong um, uh, set to begin so we just have all of this uncertainty swirling about us and the market is trying to figure that out so let's keep in mind that we have a relatively strong level of resistance up here and i don't think we're going to be uh, feeling all that bullish until we can break through that and actually show that opportunity that we're going to hold up here but the good news is once again we're holding above that 50-day moving average and overall if we were to mark this out we are still holding in a trend and if i mark this trend this way you could see we could literally consolidate for the next couple of weeks in this area just chopping back and forth as we wait for some of those resolutions and this is creating this great big giant price wedge um, in the chart that we might want to watch and consider so unless we find some kind of inspiration something news driven that surprises the market um, I, I would be honestly a little bit surprised right now that we would break through these not that it can't happen I would just be a little surprised by it and right now I have to give it up to the bulls so far at this point they have held the the 50-day moving average on the Dow everything is holding up here um, so far so I got to give it up to the bulls for defending and holding on to this level um, in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also holding on to that 50-day moving average. We've tested it pretty darn hard um, here in this consolidating move and as you can see we still have that downtrending problem going on here as well and overall we have a trend and so if we take a look at, at what we what I've just drawn here in the chart that resistance high this little bit of downtrend we could be also in that little consolidating mode in here that could go until we start hitting some of those um, earnings reports to, to find or to get some definition as to whether or not we're going to be bullish or bearish um, but right now we're just holding in that trend I don't see any um, major commitment either direction and we should expect um, a more choppy price you know crummy price action honestly just crummy price action that's going to challenge us all um, lots of gaps overnight reversals are probably in our future here for 
at least the first half of October with all of this uncertainty that continues to swirl out there. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues, not as clean, obviously, as the other indexes, holding above its 50-day moving averages. If you notice here, we have failed through that 50 day moving average. We've actually got a little bit of a moving average squeeze up here with multiple moving averages up in here, providing that price resistance in the chart. We also have the significant problem here that we never made that new high. Um, in the diamonds and the spy, we poked our head up there for those new highs, but we didn't hold on through the end of the day. So we've got these lower highs coming into play here on that downside move. Here is our uptrend. So once again, we could continue to bounce around in this area, kind of dragging price, just kind of dragging that 50 day moving average out. Now this morning, we're looking at a little bit of a bullish move here, just popping us right back up above that 50. We'll have to wait and see. If those bears engage on that resistance level, we end up with another pop and drop, or if we actually get a follow through day where we get two days in a row, wouldn't that be something? Two days in a row in one direction. We haven't seen that for a while. So let's, let's hope for that, but let's also be very, very focused on the fact that there's a lot of price resistance up here for this chart to deal with. And we'll probably need some kind of inspiration to really pop, push us through there. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has been sick for a year and remains sick. Um, as you can see, we've been in this downtrend for a long period of time. I'm not going to be too, um, too bullish on uh, IWM until we can break that downtrend and actually prove to hold it as support. If that were to occur, if it were to occur and we can hold some kind of a trend in here where we actually get those lower highs and higher lows, um, we might um, we might have some opportunity to move on up, but it's going to be pretty darn challenging until we can break through that downtrend in the chart. So keep an eye on that. It is encouraging that we're kind of holding in this area of the 50 day moving average, the 200 day moving average. But boy, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done here for IWM to really become bullish. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX holding up here okay. And I'm gonna to go to this chart. The VIX has been one of those um, really interesting charts to analyze. As you can see, we had this downtrend here in the chart. And so far we have held that downtrend as support. Breaking back above this price resistance and holding up here could be a bit of a concern if fear were to start coming back in. Notice we have also have this downtrend that it's held very, very consistent. So this morning, a little bit of bullishness, we might see that slip back down below this area. But keep in mind, if those bears decide to, um, you know, go to work at price resistance and we get some kind of a pop and drop, um, and not suggesting that we will, but the possibility does exist, that um, the VIX could spike back up here again. Now, I don't think at this point, the way the market has been trading, we can really get too concerned about the VIX unless we break out of this little downtrend. Hold above that and actually start moving higher. That's where the concern would be. That's where that um, trend um, might start showing up. So let's keep an eye on the VIX. Let's take a look at T2122. It's a four week new high, new low ratio. And here we are again, we're just in that confused place. Um, T2122 not providing us with any clues on direction. What it is is saying is we're about stuck in the middle and um, we have plenty of room for an upside move. We have plenty of room for a downside move, and there's no indication here whatsoever um, which way we might go. One thing you can note is that uh, technically overall, this is showing downtrend, but holding in there around that 50 level, um, we have equal opportunity to go up or down. It's really all going to depend on what the mark, what inspires the market, what really gets us moving. And, um, 
is this uncertainty out there just going to continue to swirl us around? Uh, pop up, pull back, pop up, pull back, pop up, pull back. Um, could be a really uh, challenging October, at least the first part of October, as we wait for earnings to uh, start kicking off. And of course, the news on the trade negotiations. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And our economic calendar does have something to say about our market today with quite a little bit going on. We have Fed speakers this morning, kind of a parade of Fed speakers out here um, yammering along about the market. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on those. Unlikely we'll learn anything new from them, but we should kind of keep an eye on what they say. Then we have PMI at 945. We have the ISM, probably the biggest potential mover of the day. ISM manufacturing report this morning and then construction spending. Those three reports could move the market between 945 and 10 o'clock. Might want to keep an eye on those. And of course, right now consensus isn't suggesting anything major um, in those. It would, it would be that surprise that could potentially move the market so we'll want to watch those pretty closely and right now we haven't been getting a lot of those economic indicators to really move us around in any major way um, the economic indicators continue to remain relatively strong overall so let's take a look at um, earnings we only have um, seven companies reporting earnings today and not likely ones that would really move us around. But we do have a couple notables. Um, MKC, MKC McCormick. It's a, uh, you know, our spice maker, food maker. Um, you can see it's gapping up slightly this morning, uh, gapping up into this resistance on its earnings report. Um, but obviously um, downtrending and nothing special here overall. SFIX is also reporting today. It looks like they have reported well. A little double bottom pattern here gapping up this morning, but plenty of resistance above. This chart has a lot of work to do just to deal with this downtrend overall. So getting up into here, maybe holding, may give this an opportunity to move up. But again, still not much uh, for the market to react to here in these two reports. Let's, um, before we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, guys, let's take a look at, or let me just ask you for a favor, I guess. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please click that subscribe button on YouTube? Click that thumbs up button and click those, uh, click to make a comment if you feel these videos are worthy. worthy. You know, I, I do these videos every single day with the hope of helping people uh, do a better job at their preparation for the day, not being caught up in the emotion and the drama um, that gets generated in the news and really looking at those technicals and focusing in how they might want to approach the day. So if you find that helpful, please, you know, make sure and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, any comment um, um, counts and helps the algorithms to show these videos to more folks. Thank you to everyone who does do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are absolutely awesome. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. So with that, let's take a look at a few charts that might be setting up still holding up pretty well looking overall pretty good let's take a look at um, Goodyear tire Goodyear tire has been hanging in there looking really nice um, overall now I would say Goodyear tire has some uh, some things to deal with here we're pushing against some resistance levels in the chart and we'll have some of those to, to watch and pay attention to. This happens to be that one of those rounded bottom breakout patterns. Um, it's one of my favorite patterns to trade. And it really is signifying when we break a downtrend, hold that 50 day moving average of support. And then we'd look for those uh, price moves moving up to challenge resistance levels. And the ultimate target in the round of bottom breakout is back up around that 200 day moving average. So Goodyear tire looking pretty good overall holding up. 
a nice little positive move. This was a price alert for an entry into the trade. And I, just for full disclosure, I'm currently long Goodyear Tire and feeling pretty happy about it um, at the moment. We'll see if that can continue to follow through to the upside. Let's take a look at Apple yesterday. Apple decided to take off and go yesterday. I've had a price alert setting here on this chart and Apple decided to get with the program yesterday on a analyst upgrade and looking really good and, and now gapping on up here this morning. And let's watch Apple pretty closely. This may not be the reason to jump into the trade, but we may want to watch this trend. And as we have popped up, maybe a little bit more rest or consolidation, find that next entry into that trade um, so that you're not chasing. But um, Apple's looking very, very good and very strong here, considering uh, so many of those uh, big techs are having lots and lots of trouble um, holding up overall in the market. Take a look at Walmart. Walmart can just continues. This is something I have held for a long, long time. For full disclosure, um, I am long Walmart since here. And I've been holding this as a long-term uh, position trade. And that just continues looking great. Running up this line, running up this um, uh, T-line here, just continuing to move higher. Now, I think it's due for a rest, a consolidation, or a pullback. But keep an eye on that. Walmart has been one of those consumer defensive sector stocks. It's just held up really, really well. Any rest, any consolidation here in here could set up that next opportunity to move higher higher so keep an eye on that take a look at this ctxs ctxs is also in that kind of that rounded bottom breakout type pattern but this is more of a cup and handle pattern and i've mentioned this one before and we've been bouncing around here holding on to this 50-day moving average i'd be waiting to see if this can break through here and maybe fill this gap up into here so watch that CTXS could be setting up, might be one to pay attention to. One thing I do have to note on this chart is this thing is really wicky. Um, and that happens in these uncertain markets like this. We get all of these wicks and tails, all this back and forth that keeps um, moving us around. So watch that careful. But I think if we can pop up through this resistance up here, there may be some upside potential. And with options, that would be um, a viable trade. It may not be any kind of a viable trade uh, for a stock trader um, at all. There may not be enough move in there to get that done. Take a look at BX. Man, oh man. It looked like BX was going to move up here in this uh, chart and BX just falling uh, like a knife slicing through that 50-day moving average. What I would suggest in this chart is don't chase this short. What I would suggest at this point, this is a, a decisive sell-off here. Let's watch this for any kind of a rally back and a failure in this area for that potential short trade if you're looking for something short. That was a definitive sell-off there, pretty strong move. So we'd wanna wait for that little rally back and a failure at price resistance to get short BX, but BX could be setting up for that short side move now um, overall. Take a look at that Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree continues to hold up well, um, continues to hold above this breakout here. Um, trying to pop up yesterday, getting a little pullback so don't be too surprised if this has to rest or consolidate a little bit more before this has an opportunity to decide which way it wants to go. If I draw a trend on here, you can see it wouldn't be out of the question for this to just kind of bounce around in here over to this area before it gets that motivation to move higher. So maybe just in a resting pattern, one to keep an eye on, maybe watch and see where it goes from here. Um, BMY, BMY continues to hold up very well in this trend overall the trend is good big o shooting star yesterday popping up and pulling back so we'll have to be cautious of that if this rests in here we're okay for that potential move higher if it can't hold up in here though if that starts to break down that trend this run could be over so keep an eye on that i know a lot of um, um rwo um hit and run candlestick folks have been trading this and in this so one to keep an eye on for sure and pay attention to so with that guys there's a few charts for your list today i hope that helps out 
I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. I want to wish you a great success. And if you're struggling right now, guys, and, and, and this is the thing, I, I've talked with quite a few traders recently that are just very, very frustrated. And they're frustrated because the market is just not providing really good setups we get we're we're getting this crazy price action where we're up one day back another up the next day back another every day seems to be a gap every day there there is that potential of an overnight reversal and that's making it very very frustrating and very difficult to trade Remember, guys, one of the key elements to being a successful trader is knowing when it's time to back off, knowing when it's time to not take risk in a market where you don't have an edge. So don't feel bad if you stand aside and wait for markets, market conditions to improve uh, before you get um, back into the market. Remember, you can you don't have to trade every day to be successful as a trader. I am proof positive of that. I absolutely do not trade every day. And as a matter of fact, have traded a lot less over the last month, just simply because the market has just not provided a whole lot of great opportunity that doesn't um, doesn't require tremendous risk. So kind of keep that in mind. Don't feel bad if you're struggling. Um, just keep up your work. Keep up your practice. Keep up uh, uh, digging in. I, I wish you all great success. Never give up on that dream. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.